What's good, family? What's good? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Just finished my morning workout. And no, I haven't forgotten about y'all. I want to get to y'all, my stance, my takes, what's been going on in this NBA playoffs. And I want to give y'all my picks and reasons why for the conference finals. Um, I mean, that boss... I like I'm like what I'm seeing this year in the playoffs because I think we're getting back to real basketball, not the up and down BS that we saw in the bubble that looked like basically recreation ball. We're seeing more of a physicality in this year's playoffs, and I like that. I like that very very much. I mean, some of the plays I didn't like that that the play that uh the Memphis player Dylan, I believe his name is, when he did to Gary Payton the third, I thought that was a cheap shot. I thought that was a dirty play. I thought the Draymond play deserved a flagrant, not a flagrant two. But um, Dylan Brooks' is name, sorry. Um, I'm really liking what I'm seeing in this year's playoffs, and now we have two great series to come. We have a rougher, rugged team in Miami playing against a rougher, rugged team in Boston. Boston has better skill set, more shooting. I, I, when I look at series, one of the things I evaluate to see who's going to win, I ask who's the best player in the series. Then I ask who's the second best player in the series. Then I ask who's the third best player in the series. Then I ask who's the fourth best player in the series. I try to stack that up when I look at the teams. Then I ask who's the best coach. Now, in the super team era, it became that this became magnified because you had, say, like LeBron and company with LeBron, KD, Kyrie, Steph, Kevin Love, Clay, supporting cast, supporting cast. That became highlighted. But now you have naturally built teams. So it's still in effect, but it's something you have to look at because Philadelphia on paper had the two best players in that series. And they got smoked. So, um, when I look at Boston, Miami, Boston has, in my opinion, in my opinion, they have the best play in the series in Jason Tatum. Um, Jalen Brown has been a beast in the playoffs. I'm not going to give that nod to him over Jimmy Butler. I say Jimmy Butler is the second best play in the series. But when I look at third best, I say Jalen Brown. When I say fourth best, there's nobody in Miami. It's either Al going to be Al Horford, Marcus Smart, somebody. I look at best coach. When I look at what he, what he make Emeka Edoka is doing, then I look at Eric Spolstra. I see it here. Normally, Eric Spolstra has such an advantage in the coaching department, you know, historically in Miami, but it's been that's a pretty even matchup. <clears throat> so. On paper, and Vegas is agreeing with that Boston should win the series. But there's something about this nucleus of Boston. Now, this is the first year with him making it Doka. He's got him where he's got him. There's something about if they don't win it this year, then what? The combination of Brown and Tatum, let's not forget trading deadline. They was talking about finally splitting them up. Like, okay, maybe this isn't enough to win a title. And right now, they're the favorites remaining to win a title. Because of the way they defend. I don't think Golden State could beat them in a seven game series. I don't. They actually have more shooters than Golden State Warriors. They have more shooters than the Miami Heat. And they both play the same style, style in my opinion. They each jack up a lot of threes. They live behind the three point line. So the games you see when they're making a lot of threes, that's when things are looking good for them. When they're not making a lot of threes and it's not falling, it don't look so good. Um, because of that, I say Boston in six. I think uh, Jimmy Butler and company. I think they're gonna steal game one, but um, just off a of rest, and they've been so good at home during the playoffs, so good. And Jimmy Butler's a dog. I love Mister Jimmy Butler. I really do wish he was still in Philly. So does Joel and B. I feel sorry for Joel and B. Because all he need is a running mate. He's arguably the best player in the game. I still would give that nod to Giannis, but he's right there. And he doesn't have a running mate. 
Giannis this year did not have a running mate. If he had a running mate, they would have beat Boston. Oh, yes. Middleton's there. They beat Boston. So, that's my take on that series. Then you have Golden State. Now, Golden State right now is my pick to win the championship next year. We don't know what's going to happen to free agency, blah, blah, blah. And I say that because if you get an improved James Wiseman and he could at least grow into being as good as, say, a DeAndre Ayton, if he can at least be that good with everything else is there, if they're healthy come playoff time, you got Kaminga another year in maturity, and you got the Splash Brothers healthy, you see what this other kid pulls growing into, Golden State's my favorite. For next season, I got to tip my hat to the fact that they even made it this far, but certain things have gone in their favor is the reason why they're able to be here right now. So, so with that being said, but now you have what is a pretty winnable series. You have a Dallas team who's good, who have a remarkable play in Luka Doncic. And Luka Doncic is, um, Luka Doncic is a stat stuffer, yes, but... I have to get credit where credit is due. He makes it he makes it count in the playoffs. He has that thing inside of him where it's like he got the he got the dog inside of him. And that's where I, I he has my respect. Luka Doncic has my respect. Because he has that like I'm gonna bust your ass mentality. And he's not backing down from any challenge. And they're throwing challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge at him. And he's meeting and exceeding expectations. A lot of times when I watch Dallas, it comes off as very James Harden-ish. Only difference I see really is that he'll play in the post where James Harden won't. But because it's just okay, top of the key, high screen and roll, dribble, 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 dribble. And that's what I see. Um, but he, the games I see where he's able to share the basketball enough and other guys are able to make plays, along with the fact that I, I don't think it's a coincidence. Those are the, the days where they're playing excellent defense. Um, Golden State lives and dies so much on that three-point shot. That's why I say next year even more so because, because of the fact of having an Aiton gives them an inside punch that they just don't have right now. Golden State is very, very one-dimensional. And lo and behold, Dallas can push this series to seven. Like I said, who's the best player in the series? Luka Doncic. I'm a big Steph Curry fan. He's my favorite player. My two favorite players in this league, Steph Curry, Joel Embiid. But the best player in this series is Luka Doncic. He will be the best player in this series. And they can push this thing to seven. Yes, they can. As of right now, I'm taking Dallas to win the series. Those are my tastes. Your boy, Over Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.